my transporter T4 2.5 TDI uh, engine had a breakdown uh, the pump belt uh, was stripped of the teeth I'll show you okay so here's the old belt it was uh, still on but I cut it off because it's no use anymore and the marks marks on the pulleys are off so I wanted to make a video about uh, where to find the AJT engine uh, timing marks so you don't have to do as much work as I had to the first piston must be in position uh, TDC uh, I think it's uh, top, top dead uh, sensor or something the highest point anyway and uh, I have a manual transmission and the way you can find the mark is by looking at the uh, clutch flywheel has a little mark on the on the left side so there's a little little mark on the flywheel and a corresponding uh, uh, mark on the housing so you have to rotate the crankshaft uh, with a ratchet from you can do it by here you, can, uh, you must rotate that uh, anyway around uh, until until you uh, find the mark there you need two persons for that of course so now that we know that the piston number one is uh, at the highest point uh, we must make sure the camshaft uh, which is that shaft there it needs, needs to be in the correct position my timing belt is uh, still uh, still on and it's it's uh, in good condition but I, I'm going to replace it uh, afterwards so uh, uh, in my case the only only worry is that uh, it's uh, either correct position or it's 180 degrees shifted so uh, the camshaft pulley it was uh, positioned like that there's a little notch notch right there but uh, that doesn't mean anything basically because I'll show you I have al already loosened the bolt so it will come off with just by hand you can see there is nothing that will keep it in the right position so you can't really trust the notch at, at all okay let's put that aside so the real mark is uh, and the way you know it it's in correct position uh, there are two two slots at the end of the camshaft and uh, when you set the timing belts and so on you you need a locking plate uh, I have I have ordered mine but it hasn't arrived so I can show you but uh, it will it will lock the camshaft uh, like so that the one end will go there the plate will go through that uh, slot two slots actually 
and the other way around there so you can't rotate it at all and uh, the way you know the camshaft is in correct position is that the slots are eccentric to the center of the P shaft so I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera but I'll get a few few readings and I'll draw a cat picture and show it so the slots need need to be in uh, upper position and then you know it's the correct position otherwise the locking plate won't fit So now when I get the locking plate it will fit there like so and it will lock the position and you can do the rest of the maintenance. Uh, the official way that the Volkswagen manuals say uh, you know the timing is uh, correct uh, is by looking at the diesel pump uh, pulley but uh, in my case because the uh, belt has been broken you can't trust the marks but uh, I think uh, the marks on the pump are there's a little notch right there and that needs to be aligned with the little hole on the pulley so it's it's right there it's not uh, very accurate but uh, it doesn't matter because you, you need to get it uh, pretty close to the right right value and uh, the, then the Timing on the pump needs to be done uh, separately from the belts, so you just need to get it close enough. Okay, so those were the three timing marks on my manual transmission AJT uh, coded engine. One on the flywheel one on the camshaft uh, slots and the third third one on the fuel pump